Welcome everyone, this is Bassoon27 and Fuzzy Rhino30 and Bassoon27 <laughs> Okay, go on. Okay. For the Samsung Eternity and iPhone 3G this is review. The Samsung Eternity. And this is the iPhone 3G. Yes. <laughs> it's not on the screen. There you go. Okay. Okay. First, we're going to take a look at the basic appearance of the phone itself. We'll so, start off with the Samsung Eternity. So, the Samsung Eternity has a 3 inch touch screen. Hard to see. Yeah, there you go. Alright, a 3 inch touch screen, and it's pretty thin. Not as thin as the iPhone, but almost just as thin pretty good and um, it has like that silver lining on the edges and on the back it's like a metallic -y color with a 3 megapixel camera at the top left on the top is a holds button on this side is a headphone jack and um, a quick select button the camera button down here is nothing on this side is the volume up and down rocker and down there is a USB port. Is that headphone jack the same as a normal headphone jack? Yeah, three and a half millimeters unlike the iPhone which only works with the iPhone headphones. No, this is three and a half millimeters. That's the original uh -oh. iPhone. Oh yeah. Okay, so yeah. the 3G one is better. So the 3G one is <clears throat> fixed on a few qualities. Yes. Okay, so as you can see it has the touch screen and the home button. On this side there's the um, the vibrate button and the volume. On the back, there isn't much except for a 2 megapixel camera that doesn't work that well, so it doesn't take videos. Or and the sleep button and a headphone jack. The microphone, or, yeah, the microphone, speakers, and the dock. Okay. And that's it. So the main thing with the cell phone is the calling. So now we're going to look at the calling features of the phone. So for the Samsung Eternity, you're going to, the bottom left, I mean, yeah, the bottom left down here, you press dial, and you can put in the number like an ordinary phone. Or you can go to contacts and flip through them with like a swiping motion. Choose anyone and press call to send them. And... Um, or you can go directly to contacts through the home screen. And on the iPhone 3G? Okay, on the iPhone 3G, simply press the phone button or the contacts button, which really just press the phone so that has contacts in it. And you have your favorites, the keypad, which even if you start dialing something, see, um, well, it didn't do it now because I messed up, but it comes up with who the contact is. Like, it, even if you only type in the first three numbers or something, usually it can pop it up. Yes. Okay, and that's how you can call people. And for receiving a call from the Samsung Eternity, if it's um, locked like this, hold on, call mine. If it's locked like this, what'll happen is the ringtone starts. It shows who's calling and their number. The ringtone gets louder as you wait, and the bottom flashes blue. That's the best feature. Okay, now on the iPhone 3G, when someone calls the iPhone 3G, let's see, let's do it while it's locked. Answer and have all those features on the screen. Right. Okay, that is calling. <laughs> Okay, for next up, we have <clears throat> how to send a text message and also how to send a multimedia message, but that only works on the Samsung Eternity since the <laughs> iPhone 3G. But you can use email. <laughs> no to one uses have email. Multi yeah, a lot of business people use email. You're 14. Yes. Not I a business am. person. <laughs> but to get to messaging on the Samsung Eternity, you just simply go to menu and you have two options from here. You can press messaging down in the bottom right or go to the messaging main page up at the top here. So you can do either way. When you go in, you can go to create a message, inbox, sent, all that stuff. Below that you have IM where you can choose between AIM, Windows Live, and Yahoo and mobile email as well. So to create a message, you tap up here, choose whoever you're going to send it to and tap down here you have your normal multi-tap or rotate it 90 degrees for the full QWERTY keyboard which the iPhone doesn't have and never will have it will have, it's an update 
Which, if they have an app store for an update, they should update this landscape texting. Don't you think so? So if Apple is watching this, if that's possible for Apple to watch this... I already sent numerous, <laughs> like, requests for this to Apple. I don't think they're ever going to add it. <laughs> okay, so for the iPhone, see, like, I already have this up. It's very simple to do a message. If you already have one going, simply click on it, or you press the little button up there. And it displays all of the messages instead of just one. Here, I'll put that up yeah, closer that. for you guys to see. It has a nice little thing, so if there's a number or some other type of link, you can just click on it, and it leads to something else. And, yeah, you can just add it on. Sadly, there is no landscape text. However, and on email, well, it doesn't we'll have get that, to that either, later. but wait, you can also download apps. Some say you can do as SMS, but it's too complicated. So you might end up just having to send emails to your friends in landscape. But no one uses emails, so it's kind of a downfall. But with sending a picture message, you simply do the same as I said earlier. You get into the messaging and create a new message. And right down here, there's insert. So you can put in an audio file, a video, a picture. Or you can take a picture right from here, record video or record audio, and put it in right from there directly. Okay, on the iPhone 3G for sending pictures, you can download this easy app, Quip. Start in camera, or you can have one from your library. Take it. And then you just need to send it to your friends. And it's not a very long process, but I don't want to go through the sending thing since, I don't know, it's not that... It's more... Okay, forget it, but... <laughs> It's very simple to use and very quick. And also you can just send them as email. Also, you can send an email message to... Um, this is long email where you take your friend's phone number at, like, depending on the different phone company and depending what type of uh, message it is. You can send it as a multimedia message, but it takes longer. Okay. <laughs>